Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katya and today we're going to be talking about how I went from being a baker to becoming a software engineer at Microsoft in about a two year span. All right, so let's rewind real quick back to eight years ago. I had graduated high school and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I had taken a couple classes at a community college, but I didn't really want to take out the student loan to go to college. And that was mainly based off the fact that both my mom and my brother had gotten degrees in chemical engineering and they ended up never using them. My mom told me to be hesitant about taking out student loans without really knowing what I wanted to do. So I just decided to wait. So I started working at a local bakery. At first, it was such a blast working there. I was learning a lot. And then after about a year is when I started to really feel like I was growing out of it because I started to realize that the shifts are long. There wasn't a lot of flexibility to take time off. There wasn't much growth in terms of like monetary value to that position. And I was stuck in my hometown for as long as I worked there. And I really wanted to get out of my hometown because I knew that that meant better growth for me as an individual. Also knew that there was something bigger and better for me out there other than baking. I just had no idea what it was gonna be. So how did I get interested in programming? It is truly so vastly different from baking, you might be wondering what inspired me to even get started. My brother initially suggested that I learn programming, and at that time I completely disregarded him because my thought process in that moment was stop pushing your interests onto me because that's what he was interested in. It was actually some friends at a local coffee shop that one of them was a web developer, another one was a mobile developer. I'd see them working and I would ask them questions and they could see that I was interested so they gave me some resources like free code camp and code academy just to try it out to see if I liked it and I just got started. So I sat down with myself and I asked myself, do I want to make a serious change? The answer was yes. And I asked myself, am I gonna learn programming? Am I gonna take this seriously? The answer was also yes. And after that, I made, decided to make a drastic change. I decided to be best that I quit my job and focus solely on learning programming for six months straight. And in order to make sure that I got a job by the end, I decided that it was important for me to do a boot camp. Could I have done it on my own? Most likely. Did I feel like I needed the boot camp to push me to the finish line? Yes. So I started a boot camp. It was called Lambda School at the time. And their curriculum was covering full stack JavaScript web development, as well as C, Python, computer architecture, and general CS concept. It was a lot that they fit into six months. It was very challenging. After going through that curriculum, I felt pretty confident in getting a job. And I started looking for a job two months before I graduated from the boot camp. I did end up timing it quite well. Right after I graduated, I got a job at a company called FluentStream, which is in Denver, Colorado. They're a telecommunications company that does all types of things. And I was there for a year. During the time that I was there, I learned a lot. Having that first job is really important because I think that it teaches you a lot of things that you're not gonna learn through, like say boot camp or college, because situations that you deal with at the job are not gonna be the same. I think that it was also really crucial for me to have that job before I got the apprenticeship at Microsoft, because I don't think I would have been truly prepared with the amount of experience for Microsoft if I hadn't had that job prior. So after I got that job, I started thinking about how much I really wanna try working at a big tech company, but I felt pretty disheartened because I know that in order to work at a lot of big tech companies, they won't even look at your resume unless it says computer science degree or some sort of math degree, they'll just throw it away. And I knew that it was practically impossible for me to get a job at a big company without a computer science degree. But wait, being disheartened, I still did some research and then I found the Microsoft Leap Apprenticeship Program. And so the Microsoft Leap Apprenticeship Program is a three month program that's specifically meant for people that don't have that degree to give them a chance to come and work at Microsoft. And hopefully after that three month period, you have the opportunity to actually get hired on either by that team or another team at Microsoft. I immediately applied. And then on December 25th, which is Christmas morning, I remember getting an email back in 2019 saying that I was accepted into the LEAP apprenticeship program and that I'm expected to start at the beginning of January and I need to move to Seattle. I was so happy. I was literally shaking. I remember I was beyond words excited because this was one of my dreams come true. But I was also really, really scared because I knew that that meant I had to quit my current job, which was stable. And after the apprenticeship, I had no guarantee of getting a job, which could potentially throw me back on the job market while I'm still really new to tech. I was a little bit concerned about all those things. Also, 
moving really far away. <laughs> and this is where a lot of the big risks came in. I took so many risks to get to where I am today. And I felt like every time I was really scared to do something, I just did it. It ended up turning out really well for me, but it also came with a lot of challenges. There's a lot of things that were difficult that I had to go through. And sometimes when you hear these success stories, you don't really hear about all the difficult things. So once I got to Seattle, I was so excited um, to be there live in person. I got to meet, there was about 40 people in the cohort and they were all spread across different teams at Microsoft. And unfortunately about a month in is when everybody had to go home because it was end of February, 2020 and the pandemic had started. So I had to go back to Colorado. It was scary because there was a hiring freeze during the time that they were deciding whether apprenticeship people will get hired on full time. And I was worried that I would get affected by that. Nevertheless, I ended up getting the full-time position at Microsoft through the same exact team. I have been working on that team ever since. And so I have been at Microsoft now for two and a half years. So the reason I made this video is I hope that my journey is inspiring to you and I want you to know that when I first started I never knew that I would be where I am at today and nor did I think that it was truly possible I wanted to share this because it's possible and is it hard absolutely I mean you're gonna have to go through some challenges but if you really want to make a change and I'm not just talking about coding here if you want to make a life change then you have to take some risks you have to make some serious decisions I believe in you I think you can do it and hopefully this has motivated you enough to say hey she did it I can do it too anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'll be posting more about learning programming getting started so you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please make sure to like this video thank you and see you next time